Uh, I think it starts with their fans. Um, their fans are die-hard loyal. Uh, you know, the Portland Trailblazers are fans, and then it starts with the team. It ends with the team. I mean, their team, they've always been put together over the last uh, just 17 years. They you know, start very well. They play very well at home. You know, obviously, you, you mentioned those guys, uh, the Portland Trailblazers, but it's, it's Dame and CJ. It starts with them, such good shooters. Uh, how much of a challenge do they present to, to a defense? Uh, uh, there's two of the toughest uh, one-two punches that you have in our league. As far as point guard, shooting guard, obviously, you put Stan Clef at the top. You got Dame and CJ. You got John and Brad Bill, um, you know, and you know, a couple of you know, other guys as well. But you know, they're, they're just as tough as anybody. You have a good history in Portland. You're 18 and 9. You're in 27 visits. You also had the first ever triple double back in 05, which made you the youngest player in the NBA to do that. What do you remember about that night? I don't remember much about it, to be honest. Um, you know, I do know I, uh, you know, I had that triple double, and I've had some good success up there in my career. Um, but I, it's always been fun to kind of go there, you know, being around the Nike family, playing in front of them. They've always had a, a well reception for myself. I know you said yesterday uh, you were excited for the first preseason game. You, you watched it on TV. Even though you're in your 16th year, how excited are you for a night like tonight with two good games going? I'm uh, very excited. Um, you know, we get to go. You know, think about being on the West Coast, you get going early. You don't have to wait till you know late at night. So uh, I'll be watching. Is that, so does this trip involve like a Beaverton stop for you You're going to Nike headquarters? No, no. I say I get to see them. <laughs> no, I've already done that. I did that in the summertime. What's it like for you? There's no difference. Um, you know, it's the same um, every year. I mean, I've opened up on the road. I've opened up at home before, so it's not much of a difference. Do you have any uh, thoughts on what's going on in Minnesota? Nope. Uh, Lucas talked about how he solicits advice from, from you and Rondo. Um, do, do you feel like anybody on the team can kind of approach Luke with an idea or suggestion? Does he have that approachability? Uh, he's very approachable. I mean, our coaches staff are very approachable. Um, you know, but you know, I think uh, at the end of the day, he respects what I've done and what Rondo's done in our career. He respects our mind, and uh, you know, but ultimately, he's going to make the final decision when it all comes down to it. But he respects what we think. What have these last two days been like for practice for you guys? Have you been able to put more stuff in, or are you just kind of working on your habits, like you mentioned? Uh, both, both. Uh, but we've been getting at after the last two days uh, a lot of uh, a lot of five on five, a lot of bumping and grinding, a lot of physicality, you know, working on those things uh, as well as working on the mind as well. So uh, it's been a good two days.